All right, and welcome back. It is Kotel for another War Rights event. We have a War Secession to close out the weekend. And on the big board, it is both pieces of 9th Corps, plus the 83rd attacking Hooker's Division in the south, kind of right around one of those strategic objectives. So if the uh, in-game uh, CSA team... No. If the in-game Union team wins this fight... Um... It's not over in the south, but it's basically over in the south. Um, it'd be very hard for them to uh, compete in that sector anymore. Give the Union one of the two capture points they would need to secure victory in the Peninsula Campaign, Part 1. But as you can see, both teams are starting to move out here. Probably have a little bit of time here. So on the Union team, we got Star and Archer leading 2 Corps. 20th New York under, Halo, under CJ. We've got 83rd under Tiberius, 9th Corps under Prattley, who's the token leader. And we've got EB under Colt, IB under Stoned, 2nd USR under Night Breeze, SR under Chief, and HD under Hazard and Bra, and then 32nd under King Bob. Got a bit of Artie as well from 9th Corps and IB on the CSA team. Make sure we're not in fighting. Uh, I might wait to do the intro for the CSA team. We'll look at this initial fighting. I do love the fall update here. So as you can see, we got an initial assault by the Union pretty much all coming in on this uh, left third sector here. We will see if they can uh, punch through against this forest defense. I like the uh, CSA setting up as they are. Kind of a bit forward here, having very good views of the Union as they're coming up. You Yankees killed Peanut! You Yankees killed Peanut! The Yanks killed Peanut! Did they? Well, I mean, I guess it's New York, I suppose. You fuckers killed Peanut! That flag You killed Peanut and you gotta die! USA! 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 HD now coming in. They're doing a decent job of rolling up the CSA. Plus, you've got this other maneuver here by 9th Corps fixing this HL element here, which is going to be very bad if this element could come in and hit them at the same time. CSA is trying to bring in reinforcements, but I don't think they'll make it in time. You can see 9th Corps has already knocked them out. Here comes some reinforcements. JD coming down, but I don't think they're in time. They could be very easily defeated in detail and give the Union the entire woods here. We'll see. These guys got to move up a little bit. A little bit too far back for my taste. That's going to give the CSA time to knock out these units down here. For Peanut. There's more, there's more. All right, we good, we good? Yeah, they, the CSA should not be having this amount of success right now with the amount of units that are down here. A little bit too slow reaction on this Union team. But at the same time, I think CSA is overextending here. Now they're kind of charging it to HD. And now they're kind of charging up here a little bit. We do have one other KB. This is not KB. MB is over here. Well, actually, I'm not even sure what unit. This looks like just a collection of people here. Again, the Union should be pushing forward right now. There's two flags here with a five-second respawn. With that amount of troops here, they should be wiping this out. Uh, taking a little bit too long, in my opinion. Flags to the south. There's flags to the south. Saw this problem uh, last night, too. Too slow. Way too slow. You've got the numbers here. Just need to maintain that momentum, but uh, starting to maneuver. But uh, problem is, you're gonna give time for reinforcements to get in. Yeah, this small element here has completely stalled out this far superior Union force here. Got Legion back here. The final stop gap. Here come those reinforcements coming down. Very, very, uh, I saw the same thing last night. 
And I'm seeing the same mistake again. And it's too late now. Now look at all those reinforcements coming up. These guys over here, whoever this was, what are you doing out here? Just getting killed out of line is all you're doing. Now because you sat there and waited, now the CSA has been able to bring up reinforcements. It's going to be able to hit you hard. Here comes Knight with the KB. Now they're charging, but see the problem. You took way too long to charge, and now they cut the legs out from under you. Help your brothers, boys. So it looks like the Union was able to hold there, which is good for them. Oh, but now two cores coming forward here. You guys suck and you're gonna lose tonight. Get stabbed. Bitch. Oh, you're gonna kill me. Holy fuck. Thank you. Oh my god, that would have been embarrassing. Get away from me. Truce, truce, truce. Reform, You're a bitch. Reform. Keep going, keep hey, pushing. Yeah. Alright, so the Union again has an opportunity to wipe out this element right here. Right. If they press it, there's three flags go. here. Get up the hill, get up the hill, get up the hill. I agree with Knight, it is time to retrograde here. I just spawned in, what's happening? And the Union is ahead on tickets, which is good. This is, you know, as far as casualties go, this is not a bad pace. At all. You know, it's working out. It just. Yeah. It's not bad for casualties at all for the Union. So, you know, that is going well. But again, now the CSA is consolidated again. Again, it's a much tougher fight. You could have won this map already, to be honest with you. See, it's basically all that ground. They might not need to, though. You know, you can just uh, can play a little conservative here, and they might be trying to go for uh, tickets and try to get as many casualties as possible to really hurt Cougar's peace, but I would go for the victory. Kind of secure that as best I could. Now, there's no Steam Chat, but they're all together. You know, it's not like you got wildly, you know, dispersed forces here. A bit of a flank maneuver. HD is coming up here. Trying to get up on these rocks. You gotta be careful not to get hit. Hey, watch your guys' is right. Watch your guys' is right. Yeah, yeah, we watch it. We watch it. I agree with Nolan. Pull back if you get charged. There's a big line coming you guys' way. Pull back if you get charged. We see, we see. Oh, you see it, but what are you gonna do about it? Nah, wait, big boys. We'll hold them, sons of bitches. Okay. Alright, we might not be. We, we, we're not holding. <laughs> pull, pull it back, pull it back. I mean, you know, that's fine. He drew JD out of position. And he got two core moving up here into Archer. Keep moving, keep moving the tab. Get him out of here! Get him out of here! Fuck him up! And Get Union him has gone. Get these fucking bastards out of here! To engaged in an ineffective charge against that KB line. Unsupported. And that is what happens to that. Still doing some damage though. Go, 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 go. Charge west. Uh, so now they're going to try west, which is not a bad idea actually. I kind of like this. Gonna fight your way across this way. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, there's a, no one know, here. Gonna set up a nice, uh, hey, strong point on these orders. rocks and then for project orders. forward. Watch out for friendlies, watch out for friendlies, watch out for friendlies. Watch your fire, watch your fire, watch your fire. Watch your fire, watch your fire. Watch your fire, watch your fire. Watch your fire. 
Now there is a union element here, which is EB, is crossing through, trying to get a flank, which is, uh, I don't mind, actually not a bad idea by Colt here, trying to get another angle on him, you just gotta be careful not to cap. Let's go, first brigade, let's go. I mean, he could cap right now, I think he's already off of it. He's off, he's off of it. Down their flag if you can. I uh, EB, pull back, pull back quickly. Pull back. Yep, so you see now that the uh, Union kind of maneuvered up here to these rocks, I think this was very effective. And they have secured a very good position to push back that CSA line. So that was a good push on the left by that Union team. CSA is getting squeezed back further and further. And they are starting to run out of options here. It's still not doing horrible on tickets. Could be a lot EB worse, to be honest with you. Got the poo on me. Got an attack developing here. I think they saw an opportunity to wipe out EB, who was isolated. HD did come up to support them. Fuck you. EB, break here. Fuck you. Good reaction by HD here, though, coming in to support them. Very good supporting flank by HD. Ninth Corps coming in as well. Very good job by those two units to come in and aid. And has kind of taken the uh, strength out of that charge. But here comes Knight. We'll see if he can finish it off here. Problem is this uh the CSA is coming in a little bit too uh too disaggregated and that's you're seeing it in this tickets. And again, good positioning here. They did win this fight. CSA did, but it cost them quite a bit. And see if the union could continue with the pressure on them. Also do have a couple elements up here trying to harass the arty. CJ, yeah, it's fine. I wouldn't say yeah. Not a horrible thing to do. Bit of a ticket sink, but you know. It's not worth, you know. Best you can, boys. You got a few tickets to spend, so. Well, oh, already shit. fire started. All right, sick of you guys. Let's get some rocks up here. Independent fire down here. And you can see the CSA has really been pushed back by this union. And I think it was two pieces. A was seizing those rocks and getting that firing position, and then it was the support that came in to help EB over on this position here to deal with the uh, CSA lines that were coming in that uh, really created that advantage for them. Now they're pushing up a little bit further here. Still haven't done the intro yet, have I? So on the CSA team, we got Wilkes leading HL, MB under Metal, second MS under Drew. They suck! Um, oh, yeah, <laughs> AB under Knight and Disco, MSG under Grim, AB under Legion, JD under Remix, and uh, get some randos in here. Um, A Taliban under Kodiak, NYV under Mando, AB, and then a lot of already here. Good mix. Uh, KB, JD, MB, JD. And be a lot of a lot of units in there for a party. Again, I'm not a big fan of having so much already. If you're gonna do a woods defense, I talked about it last time. I think it's a waste of manpower, and it really uh, you can feel it. So um, I don't think it was wise to put that many men on already for the CSA. Get your spacing, guys. I would know. I know personally. You can see the CSA has really been squeezed here. Get that flag, boys. Get that flag. Hey, we need your help unless you have enemies in front of you. We got to get out of the back. Practically in spawn, baby. 
I got knocked down. I got knocked down, but I got up again. Get up. EB, EB I'm never going to keep you down. Hey, hey. Hey. And CSA is at taking losses at 28. That is behind on tickets. This is a near disaster for the CSA team. Now even on sides here. A cap by the Union right now I think would be a huge mistake. We're doing excellent right now. You're still engaging with the enemy. You're engaging with you. You're getting good tickets. Just hold what you got. You fought for these positions. Yeah, they're all cap. Run away, run away, run away, run away. Don't run, don't run, don't run. Hey, holding on to this side here. Yeah, as you can see, you know, kind of a woods fight, and you got a hill fight here. CSA is going to have to figure out how to win somewhere quickly. So they are not going to win this attrition fight. We know you just want to bend over and take it, but you can't do that. It's time for war. Percent seat game to cover, boys. Always remember, I was the one that said to go to the rocks. Andy Fire, remember, remember, it was my great idea to come to these rocks and hold. Good job, Coach. Coach, when we all die, I'm going to blame you. Currently making a bit of a maneuver here. I'm curious to see where he's going. I don't think he'd cap right now. Maybe he's going to go make a visit up to the yard. He will see. And kind of, that's the move I think he's going to do. Kind of come up that way. Come up, which I think would be good. Kind of outflank the other team. So you say is starting to uh, do well here as far as this engagement goes. I'd say they're winning the gunfight. So I think this is working out fairly well for them so far. I mean, they're well behind, but I, I think they're holding it right now. Now we'll see if the Union's got two options. Um, one option is cap. Another option is to attack on the right flank. And you could hold this and just hope to shoot them out. But um, that's a viable strategy, too. Really, you got three options. You could just hold this and shoot it out. You, you, you know, you're a little bit behind, but you got enough slits that you might be able to hold it. And get them down to breaking as you hit breaking, and just walk on cap. So that is a valid strategy too. But they go with the cap strategy. CSA's got seven minutes now to try to to deal with it. The Wilkes is already moving down here. I do have a pretty good thunderstorm going right now, so this cuts out. I say I'd apologize, but ain't nothing I can do about it, so, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully it don't. And yes, uh, I made the password today. And go vote if you're an American. We have elections on Tuesday. If you have not already voted, I highly encourage you to do so, not just presidential level, but we got a lot of, uh, no matter where you're at, you're going to have various other elections at various levels going on as well. Does your vote matter? It, you know. Does it not matter? You never know if it's that one person. Plus, it, it, I always say it has an educational effect. You, you know, helps you. It's kind of a forcing function, if nothing else, for you to learn the policies, learn the running, what they stand for, they make more informed decisions about uh, what you want to do and what you want to support. 
at all levels, you know, federal, state, local, etc., etc. So, I think it's a nice forcing function to help you learn more. So you see, uh, CSA has moved out here to try to try to recap. Uh, they succeed. They will get a nice chunk of tickets back. Um, they do have. The Union has not really contested them yet. You got a small force hey, out here. Fuck, is he dead? Under 9th Corps. But uh, right oh, now, it looks like this maneuver is going to succeed. Get that flag up, boys. Get this flag up. Get this flag up. All that's going on. Do we have a charge going on top of the hill? We do. I like this move by JD. Going to try to chase off IB into the open here. And if they get some support... The problem is, I don't know if this has enough support. It could do a lot of damage. It's a very good forcing function to, uh, forcing function, fixing function. Still talking about elections here. That has drawn off these guys here. And they're going to get all these tickets back anyway. So it's fine. So I really like what the, uh, the JD and those other elements were doing there. And now there's a good opportunity here to sandwich these guys here and get some more tickets here and reset your defense and knock down their flag. So, a this is what I like to see from a counterattack from the CSA, a very well executed counterattack. You had multiple things going off at once. You had already trained in on those guys providing fire support as well. So, very very good at counterattack by the CSA team there. Now the Union still has a good chunk of forces here That's a lie. Don't listen to that, piece of that can uh, be a threat. I would try to organize a CSA push, I think, and try to wipe this out. Um, while you got a good chunk of the Union still at main, I think you have a good opportunity for a full wipe right now. You don't have a ton of tickets, but I, 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 I'd say go for it. Try to retake this ground, try to wipe them out. Um, versus just sitting up here and waiting for all those reinforcements to come back down. And, you know, if you knock these out as those guys are coming up, then you get a really good chance to completely disaggregate the enemy. And they're going to just come up one at a time and hit you. And you could really get their tickets down. Hit one unit as they're coming up, then hit another unit. I don't know, didn't, didn't some guy named Jackson do something like that in the... I don't know, who knows. Oh, wow, that already just dropped two flags, holy shit. But it looks like the CSA is going to play passive, which I think is, uh, again, I think is a huge mistake. You see 9th Corps already come in to reinforce. And more unions coming in. They're getting people on their flags. There's two corps going to be coming in. They're about two minutes out. So. And you're going to have to counterattack back on point anyway when they got their full team here. So why wait? Why not hit them while you got full strength and they're at a weaker strength? Let's see. Let's see. Can't we? It's like Ninth Corps is going to go for the cap immediately again. I support that action. I think that makes sense for the CSA. CSA for the Union. Especially since the CSA is playing very passively right now. They were a little bit more aggressive, I might not, but... If they're gonna sit back there and have to cross all that open ground to get to you, then, then go for it. There's two core coming up. It was friendly, not foe. Another six minutes, another seven minutes for the uh, CSA to recap. Here they come again. Folks leading the way. Come over this trip wire force here, 32nd. They're not going to be able to really stop it much. Now, next up is 9th Corps. On the 83rd, the two token holder units. Already coming in at a good time. That one, not so much. 
It's like zombies, boys. Shoot them. I wouldn't stay there and shoot it out. I'd charge this out as soon as I could. Especially you got this force coming down right now. You could squeeze these guys. Rocks West, they charge out the Rocks West. Get ready. What do you say? Again, the more you kill right now, the less you get back. You got a decent charge here by KB. Who's this up here? JD, okay, remix is coming down as well. But now C2 cores back in the fight, and now they're coming in with timely reinforcements to help close up this. This flank here. And they are going to, with two cores arrival, that they are going to secure that flank here. So now, you know, Great. problem is, me over and my bail. CSA has this, but these guys, they could turn around and hit this. And I think if they Union turns around and hit this right now, now, now no, they've got enough force to win it. But they got to act quick. Faster. It's a matter of how quickly they can organize and hit it. Get up, lock up, and get out. Get up, lock up, and get out. Here we go. Nice. Oh, See the blood of an Englishman. Let's see if this was uh, too much of a delay. And it's not all going in. Big mistake. This is not enough to do it. That is not enough to do it at all. I don't know why you got some guy sitting back. That was just a waste. That did absolutely nothing. Charge, charge, charge. Come on. Not you. All right, now you got a nice counterattack coming out of main by KB. Now I hope they wipe out the, you know, if they can uh, get moving here, they might be able to wipe out these elements and really hurt the USA team. Yep, JD's coming down on them. So you say should really be putting pressure on right now, which they are, to knock these guys out, knock out their flags if they can. This way, over here, over here. Me, 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 me. You still got elements here that you haven't wiped out because not much. See, not a lot went in. You got guys kind of mowing them out here, man. Sometimes you just get a follow who's ever leading, man. You can't just be, oh, where's my unit? Okay. You, give, you give general guidance and you follow it. Yep, good job on the uh, regress here by this Union team. Looks like they got at least back in the rocks, back in the rocks. one of the flags back here. And a decent chunk of the force. Like, I don't know why he went back up the hill. They got 20 minutes left here. Both teams are just about on engaged. I'm sorry, both about just about on breaking. I can't believe it. Bad line. Yeah, see, now the Union. Now you stopped as opposed to hitting this and hitting these units as they come up. See how they're coming up one at a time? You could be hitting these units one at a time as they're coming up. But because you kind of stopped back there, now they're going to have time to reform. And they're going to hit you with one big force here. Look how spread out that is. Yeah, you would go to breaking, but the key is to get them, you know. You hit one unit, hit another unit, hit another unit. They, you know, there's no steam chat. They completely lose command and control. They lose coordination. You knock out their flags. You know, it's very hard for them to launch an attack, and then you get them on the final push. You know, even if you're on breaking, then they really start panicking and start rushing over over the hill. You know, you got them. Now you're going to come back here and kind of just, you know, hurdle up and wait for them to mass up and give them all the initiative.
keep in mind, they, you know, now they get to, all they gotta do is hit you a little bit. You're on a breaking, and you gotta make a play now onto the uh, point anyway. Already shooting at like three guys over here. 20th New York doing its job drawing already fire. Again, those guys, those are guys you could have in the line right now. Here comes the mass attack. Right in front of us in fourth corner. You got isolated units out here too for the CSA. This is not good. This could get you down to breaking right here, actually. CSA's over there, it's going to be very hard for them to contest point. Union's at breaking. Again, if they just charge this element here, they would put them on breaking right now. I'm fairly confident of that. See, he was drunk. He keeled over. I should have shot him. Books is bringing down HL, which I think is the right move. See, the Union's already pre-capping. These guys over here. I, these guys, it, all this needs to charge in right now and just put them onto, uh, onto breaking, and these guys will cap and they'll win. But you can't let that mass come on and hit point. Oh, Union's throwing this away. See, there it is. We'll see if it's on time. Oh, they might have just pulled it off. I don't know. We got to turn around. No, 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 we got it, we got it, we got it. Nope, we got it, we got nope, it. they didn't. If you had charged five seconds earlier, intercepted this line, this line coming in, instant win. Would have been done. Now, with that being said, if the CSA attacks up and through, that's not a bad idea either. But we'll see if they can push through here. I see a lot of stuff. I mean, you don't have to. Yeah, you could you could sit here and shoot. To be honest with you, just want to get some tickets down. Um, CSA is the one that's going to make some moves. That is a very strong force there. Ah, right, they, why would you charge in? What it got? Why would you charge that? As the CSA? Okay. Sorry, my brother. Okay. Ready. It's a technique. It's a technique. But, um, yeah, lag's down now. Union has a free hand on that side. This was the charge I was looking for. I think JD kind of gave me the opportunity. It's going to come down to this hold, I think. I like HL's positioning up there, by the way. And not all the unions going in. Two to one, KB. Why are you staying back there? I mean, flag guard, maybe. But flag is up here. If you're flag guarding, why is it sitting there? If you're flag guarding, they should be back here with these guys. By the way, you're vulnerable to a counterattack up from the fucking guys at main. Is that counterattack coming in from the flank? This thing just almost had enough weight to it. Maybe, you know, the 30 guys over here could finish it off. But now they're going to get hidden behind. Good counterattack by JB coming in. I don't think it'll be enough, but it's enough to distract him for a little bit. Get 
so it wasn't. So now the CSA's got. got to yeah, we got to you do. To the right, to the right. He's right. You're gonna go to last stand either way. Then you just shoot it out. You gotta knock this element out here and get him down to final push. I mean, your friends are charging in right now. You heard, Mandler. Go. More Try to get these flags if they can. Good job, you got him. Just a cube there. Good job by this CS, this Union element, though, uh, kind of reconsolidating back here. They've they've done a very good job of not getting completely bombed and resetting. But again, so now the Union's moving out. Okay. How can I hit him? Y your only hope is to get him to final push just as you go to last stand. You can't do a shootout. You've got to beat him piece by piece here. So where do you hit next? Um, I think that's actually a trap. I wouldn't go down there. So it's, it's kind of tough. But I would actually deploy a little bit forward here. On, you know, kind of, kind of where they're at. You know, kind of in an arc over here overlooking point and you know they step on point hit them hard if you can try to hit some of these elements that are coming in like these guys over here like you send an element that's a lot of kills you can get and try to get them down to final push that's really your goal here now i wouldn't send a unit Ooh, this, this. i do not agree with that positioning that is dangerous with that amount of union over there I'd be a little bit aggressive if I was a CSA. You know you're going to hit last stands. It's all about yeah. getting them the final push while they're all disaggregated like this. If you give them a ch if you give the Union a chance to mass up, then you're in huge trouble. Now, for the Union team, massing up over here where these guys are positioned, where, who is this? Yeah, Archer and Tiberius. This is where you want to mass and just four guys in here and just walk on point. Dare them to fucking hit you. This is a little dangerous. I don't know about this. If I was a CSA, I would hit this hard right now. Now, the danger with that, though, is you got this over here. Yeah, see, there's last stand. You got to get him down to final push. Don't charge, shoot him. Don't charge, shoot him. That is absolutely the right uh, decision. You just sit there and shoot him. Don't charge, just shoot. Orders from Fratley. Who is this? Guys, don't charge. Don't charge. Pull back. Shoot him up. I told him not to. Shoot this guy. Go away. I beg. Load hold. Load hold. Load and hold. Load hold. I would charge this out and try to give him the final push. I would ignore that for now. Just try to try to get him on the final push. You have to. That is your only hope. Who is this? Chief. Chief. Let's see if he can stay for five tickets. Let's see, these guys are. I don't know what you guys are doing up here. Union's gonna love getting those tickets. Well, those kills, really. But still, it gives them. You know. You're gonna pull up here and they're gonna swing around on you. Yep, CSA got way too passive here. I think it's gonna cost them the game. We'll see. Fifth over here, fifth over here. Every kill is final, boys. Make them eat ass. Every man you kill, man not coming back. Nice. 
Do it for Daddy Trump, right boys. Yeah, I see this distance shooting and just keeping them in a bowl like this is exactly what the Union wants, and they are just nailing the CSA right now. I think Union's got this in the bag, in my view. Not a bad performance by the CSA team at all. But, um... I don't know why you're all bunched up together, too, right Kelly's now. Kelly's open order, independent fire, southwest! Yeah, this is just stupid right now. Why would you... Open order is the correct order, right? There's no more tickets, so it doesn't matter. You know. Well, you could get hard cover. I don't know, relatively hard cover, but... Yeah, just standing in a bowl here like that was just silly. Now you gonna charge these guys? Uh, how's it going down there? Shoot them up! Should've been doing this a long time ago. Don't talk, shoot! He's just gonna sit here and shoot at you. Chief's still alive, by the way. He's hanging out. I guess I got bored of waiting, so they're just gonna charge and finish it. There's not much left here anyway. Why would you pick up the flag, mate? <laughs> I guess that's good trading, but you know. It's like a plan of parenthood! You're dead! Zoo, 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 zoo! And they got him the final push, which is an achievement. You fucking out. You ran out. That is. Should be it. There's a couple cannoneers left. That's it. Ah, good job by the Union. Um, not bad by the CSA, but again, I, I think you got a little bit too. Uh, you got an isolated Union. You got to hit it. And, and and again, the benefit of that is if you can knock down a flag and you knock out their respawns and you get them separated, you get one unit spawning in and they're like, oh god, we gotta get to the fight, and they get killed. Another, oh, I gotta get back to the fight. I'm running. You know, there's no planning, no coordination, and, you know, you hit them one unit at a time and just pop them as they come up. But, um... Okay. You know. It requires you to be a little bit aggressive. Let's go. Carry forward with the initiative. Comes Tall Grey. <laughs> That's the end. So Union uh, is looking very secure in that southern sector there, on the south bank of the uh, James River. So it's not looking great for the uh, CSA down there. And Union is, uh, I think they've got that first capture point well and secured. So we'll see uh, what happens next week. But, uh, yep. Big win for the Union.